Good day. From CBS News, this is Newsbreak. The nation's factory production fell eight-tenths of a percent in September, the sharpest drop in a year, the second monthly decline in a row, and taken as a sign of more problems ahead for the U.S. economy. Hundreds, perhaps thousands, of Muslim fundamentalists reportedly have been seized in Egypt, their names said to be on a list of troublemakers drawn up by President Sadat before his death. Sudanese President Nimeri, a ally of Egypt and a friend of the West, is threatening to send suicide squads to oust Libyan leader Gaddafi. Libya recently bombed Sudanese border villages. Poland has ordered an extra two months duty for military recruits in the war to improve the country's economy. And party leader Kanya has accused Solidarity of trying to make matters worse and seize power. A methane gas leak in a Japanese coal mine near Yubari City has killed at least 32 miners and 80 more are still trapped deep underground. Rescue teams were in contact with about 40 of the miners. Two men remain perched atop a 565-foot copper smelter smokestack in Ruston, Washington. They're not trying to get into the record books, but to protest the government's record on air pollution control. Can you pinch more than an inch? Uh-oh. Try the Special K breakfast. Less than 240 delicious calories. Shape up with help from Kellogg's Special K. I'm Liz Trotta, CBS News, New York. More news later on this CBS station. This is CBS.